Peace. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Selamat pagi, sahabat-sahabatku. It's so good to see all the cheerful faces. Good morning. Kita dapat bertemu dengan saudara semua ya pagi ini. I do have an important announcement. Please pray for Sister Sally's husband. Oh. Ya, ada seorang jemaat kita dari Gereja Bahasa Inggris suaminya. Sister Sally's husband yesterday had a, I think it's a heart attack. So he is now in the SJMC. Ya, suaminya mengalami serangan jantung dan sekarang di SJMC minta saudara semua bawa dia dalam doa ya saudara. Do pray for our sister Sally and also for the salvation of her husband as well as for the healing of her husband. Ya. Sewaktu kamu berdoa tolong doa doa keselamatan bagi suaminya juga. Ya, tu ya tu. Okay. Number two is Mother's Day is just around the corner. Ya, dan pengumuman kedua adalah hari ibu adalah minggu depan. And if you have a short poem, a song, or a testimony, you can forward it to me, and I will see whether I can adjust it into our fellowship next Sunday. Jadi jika ada kerinduan dalam hati saudara untuk membawa satu lagu atau memberi kesaksian tentang ibu kamu ataupun um, sebuah puisi uh, saya menggalakkan saudara semua uh, forwardkan uh, apa saja yang saudara ingin bawa pada minggu hadapan kepada kita dan kita akan lihat kesesuaiannya dan juga uh, begitulah saudara. Ya, yeah. so you forward to me and I try to adjust uh, as best as I can, okay? And uh, alright. Then this morning we are having our Holy Communion. Pagi ini kita akan ambil perjamuan kudus kita. So if you do not have the Holy Communion, you you still got time to go and prepare for yourself a piece of bread or a little bit of ribena or or a drink, a small cup of drink. Ya saudara, jika saudara tidak mempunyai set perjamuan kudus yang telah kami beri pada masa yang lalu. Jadi saudara boleh menyiapkan sekeping roti atau biskut serta uh, sedikit uh, air ya itu yang akan menjadi representasi anggur untuk saudara. I, I pray that this morning you will be blessed uh, in the service. Saya berharap saudara akan diberkati sewaktu uh, ikut ibadah pagi ini. God bless all of us. Amin. Saudara, sekarang sudah tiba waktunya untuk kita membuka uh, ibadah kita dalam doa dan saya mempersilakan uh, Brother Harry Agumo untuk membuka kita dalam doa. Silakan, Brother. It's time for us to um, open in prayer and today we have Brother Harry Agumo from Bahasa Church opening us. Mari kita satukan hati kita, kita tundukkan kepala, kita tutup mata, kita bersama berdoa. Bapa di surga, kami mengucap syukur sampai kali ini kami masih punya kekuatan untuk kumpul walaupun secara berasingan di rumah masing-masing. Kami masih punya peluang untuk mengangkat pujian dan penyembahan, terutama untuk mendengarkan firmanmu. Terima kasih Tuhan, terima kasih. Urapilah setiap hambamu, anak-anakmu yang terlibat dalam ibadah hari ini, yang terutama yang menyampaikan isi hatimu, yaitu firmanmu yang hidup Tuhan. Biarlah setiap apa yang hambamu katakan Amen. adalah sesuai dengan apa yang engkau inginkan. Terima kasih Tuhan, terima kasih. Dan kami memulakan ibadah kami di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus. Haleluya. Amin. Amin. Saudara, kita menyiapkan diri untuk mendengar pembacaan firman Tuhan yang akan dibawa oleh brother kita dari Gereja Bahasa Inggris, Brother Albert Tai. And this morning we want to invite Brother Albert Tai to read scripture for us from Psalms 103. Thank you. Yeah, so um, the reading would be as such. Yeah. Praise the Lord, my soul. 
All my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. Amen. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our trans transgressions from us. Verse 13. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone and its place remembers it no more. But from the everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules all over. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you might once who do his bidding, who obey his words. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants, who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works, everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, God bless the reading of his word. It's indeed amazing. And today, we want to go into praise and worship. Ya, Tuhan memberkati firman yang telah dibaca. Saudara, kita sudah tiba waktunya untuk masuk dalam pujian dan penyembahan. Good morning, everyone. Let's prepare our hearts to give praise and worship to the Lord. Shalom semuanya. Ayo kita mempersiapkan hati kita untuk memuji dan menyembah Tuhan kita. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath pray. 
praise the Lord. Biarlah segala yang bernafas memuji Tuhan. Haleluya. Terima kasih Yesus. Let us lift up a song of worship as we remember what Jesus has done on the cross for us. Mari kita naikkan sebuah lagu penyembahan sambil kita mengingat kembali karya Kristus di kayu salib. Haleluya. Thank you Jesus. Mentari dan alam Semesta berkabung, juru selamat dunia telah terkorban di kayu salib. Darahnya tercurah, segala kutuk dosa ditanggungnya. One final breath he gave As heaven looked away The Son of God was laid in darkness A battle in the grave The war on death was waged The power of hell forever broken The ground began to shake Stones rolled away His perfect love could not be overcome Now death, where is your sting? A resurrected King Has rendered you defeated Forever 
Selamat pagi Jemaat Tuhan Tiba waktunya kita untuk mengambil uh, perjamuan kudus Dan saya menyerahkan waktu ini Oh, oh sorry, sorry uh, Sebelum itu um, kita akan uh, mengambil perpuluhan dan persembahan Jika hati saudara tergerak untuk memberi Sila gunakan online banking seperti yang tertera di screen Saudara juga boleh masukkan persembahan dalam envelope dan serahkannya kepada pemimpin zone Anda. Kami akan memberi sedikit waktu untuk catat atau ambil gambar screenshot slide ini dan kami mengucapkan terima kasih atas setiap sumbangan Anda. Good morning church, we have now come to a time of tithes and offerings. So if it has been put into your heart to give your offering or your tithes for this month, then feel free to make your transfers to the bank account uh, displayed on the screen. We will give you some time to jot down the account or take a screenshot and we would like for all of you to, we would like to thank all of you for giving. Kami ingin memanggil brother Kenneth untuk berdoa buat persembahan dan perpuluhan. We would like to call on Brother Kenneth to pray for tithes and offerings. This <laughs> Good morning, Church. Um, I would like to pray in Bahasa today. Please pray along with me. Bapa di syurga, kami ingin berterima kasih kepada Tuhan Yesus yang telah memberkati kami dengan kesihatan yang baik, pekerjaan yang tetap, dan perlindungan terhadap kami dan keluarga kami 
dari segala malapetaka dan kesakitan. Di sini kami ingin menyembahkan um, penyembahan dan persepuluhan kami terhadap bapa. Kami ingin menyembahkan Uh, kami berharap penyembahan kami akan digunakan untuk memperkasakan kerajaan bapa kita di syurga. Di dalam nama Yesus kami berdoa. Amen. 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 Uh, sebelum uh, kita ke acara seterusnya, uh, kami akan memberi sedikit pengumuman. Before we break out into our uh, into the Holy Communion, sorry. Before we enter into Holy Communion, uh, we would like to give a few short announcements. Yang pertama, uh, seperti biasa, jangan lupa yang hari Minggu uh, tepat pada jam sepuluh setengah pagi kita akan adakan ibadah gabungan. First, don't forget that we will have combined service every single week on Sunday at ten thirty a.m. Uh, seterusnya, uh, ibadah muda mudi gabungan akan diadakan pada jam satu setengah petang nanti. Next is our youth session that will be held at 1:30 p.m. later. Ketiga, pendalaman Alkitab akan diadakan setiap hari Rabu pada jam 9:30 petang hingga 10 malam. Kami mendorong semua jemaat untuk menyertai kami. Pendeta yang mengajar kami adalah Pastor Raymond yang secara live akan mengajar kami dari Indonesia. Thirdly, the Bible section will also be having Bible study on Wednesdays at 9:30 p.m. to 10 p.m. And we welcome everyone to join us as we have Pastor Raymond teaching us live from Indonesia. Dan kami mau mengingatkan saudara-saudari bahwa Gereja Bahasa Inggris mengadakan ibadah doa online mereka setiap hari Rabu pada jam 8.30 malam. Dan Gereja Bahasa Malaysia pula mengadakan ibadah doa online setiap hari Rabu pada jam 10 malam. And we want to remind everyone about the prayer meetings that are held every Wednesday. The English meeting starts at 8:30 p.m. and the Bahasa meeting starts at 10 p.m. Itu saja uh, buat pengumuman minggu ini. Sekarang kita akan serahkan kepada Pastor Joshua. That is all for this week's announcements. We will now pass the time to Pastor Joshua. Nah ini nih yang mau aku beli ini. Okay. Ya, baik. Terima kasih pada Kenneth. Sekarang kita punya bahasa, punya church service sudah tambah lebih ramai. Puji Tuhan. But we will go into a time of Holy Communion. Mari kita akan masuk dalam perjamuan kudus kita pagi ini. It is so important for all of us as Christians to be serious about our life. Sangat penting bagi kita sebagai umat Tuhan uh, untuk uh, serius terhadap kehidupan kita. Every day now we see so many people dying around us. Kita boleh lihat saudara dalam pandemik ini ramai orang yang mati setiap hari. We Do not know when God will call us. Kita juga tidak tahu bila akan tiba waktunya kita akan dipanggil Tuhan. We must be serious about sin in our life. Oleh itu kita juga harus serius terhadap dosa yang ada dalam hidup kita. This morning I like to open to the uh, book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 to 14. Pagi ini kita lihat di 2 Kolose bab 2 ayat 13 hingga 14. It reads, when you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. Ayat yang ke-13, kamu juga meskipun dahulu mati oleh pelanggaranmu dan oleh kerana tidak disunat secara lahir ya, telah dihidupkan Allah bersama-sama dengan dia. Sesudah ia mengampuni segala pelanggaran kita. He forgave us all our sins, having cancelled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. Ayat ke-14, dengan menghapuskan surat utang yang telah ketentuan-ketentuan hukum mendakwa dan mengancam kita, dan itu ditiadakannya dengan memakunya pada kayu salib. And God this morning has nailed our sins 
to the cross. Dan pada pagi ini segala dosa kita telah dipakukan di ke kayu salib oleh Tuhan. We have to be thankful. Kita harus berterima kasih. For the love of God for all of us. Untuk kasih Tuhan buat kita semua. But God require us to live a holy life. Tuhan ingin kita hidup dalam kekudusan. As Brother Tai read in the scripture this morning. Seperti mana yang telah dibacakan dalam firman pada pagi ini. We have to covenant with God to remember Him and to obey His precepts. Kita harus mengadakan satu covenant dengan Tuhan untuk mematuhi segala perintahnya. We read here that God did not forgive a part of our sin, a portion of our sin, but He forgave all our sin. Dalam firman ini kita membaca bahawa Tuhan tidak hanya mengampuni sebahagian daripada dosa kita, tetapi Dia telah mengampuni keseluruhan dosa kita. His blood purifies us. Darahnya memurnikan kita. When we ask for forgiveness, the blood of Christ purify us, refine us like pure gold. Sewaktu kita meminta pengampunan dari Tuhan, kasihnya memurnikan kita dengan apinya. We really want to thank God this morning. Kita ingin benar-benar berterima kasih pada Tuhan pada pagi ini. As the as the word say, we are alive this morning. Seperti mana firman berkata kita telah dihidupkan olehnya. Alive with Christ. Kita telah dihidupkan bersama dengan Yesus Kristus. And our spiritually and physically dead body, soul and spirit has been made alive by Christ. Dan tubuh kita yang telah mati secara rohani telah di dibuatkan hidup melalui Yesus Kristus. This morning, the redeeming blood of Christ. Pada pagi ini, uh, kasih Tuhan. We are sanctified and made holy and alive. Amen. Kita telah dikuduskan dan dihidupkan oleh Tuhan Yesus. Let's prepare uh, to take our holy communion now. Mari kita menyiapkan diri kita untuk mengambil perjamuan kudus. Please. Get ready your holy communion. Mari saudara kita persiapkan roti dan anggur kita. The bread and wine are symbolic representation of the body and blood of Jesus offered in sacrifice for our sins. Roti perjamuan kudus ini menandakan tubuh Kristus dan cawan perjamuan Kristus ini menandakan darah Kristus yang dicurahkan bagi dosa kita. So it is now time that we come together as one body of believers to remember and celebrate what Christ did for us. Ini adalah waktu kita datang bersama-sama sebagai satu tubuh orang percaya untuk mengingat dan merayakan apa yang Kristus telah melakukan bagi kita. And the Bible tell us that before we partake of the holy communion we have to prepare our hearts before god firman tuhan telah berkata pada kita sebelum kita mengambil perjamuan kudus kita harus menyiapkan diri kita i will read to you the verse that remind us of our preparation so then whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. Jadi barang siapa dengan cara yang tidak layak makan roti atau minum cawan Tuhan, ia berdosa terhadap tubuh dan darah Tuhan. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat of the bread and drink from the cup. Kerana itu hendaklah tiap-tiap orang menguji dirinya sendiri dan baru sesudah itu ia makan roti dan minum dari cawan itu. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment in, uh, on themselves. Karena barangsiapa makan dan minum tanpa mengakui tubuh Tuhan, ia mendatangkan hukuman atas dirinya. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and a number of you have fallen asleep. 
Sebab itu banyak di antara kamu yang lemah dan sakit dan tidak sedikit yang meninggal. But if we were more discerning with regard to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Kalau kita menguji diri kita sendiri, hukuman tidak menimpai kita. Nevertheless, when we are judged in this way by the Lord, we are being disciplined so that we will not be finally condemned with the world. Tetapi kalau kita menerima hukuman dari Tuhan, kita dididik supaya kita tidak akan dihukum bersama-sama dengan dunia. We'll take a minute or two to discern ourselves before God. Kita akan mengambil sedikit waktu untuk mengintrospeksi diri kita dan selidiki hati kita di depan Tuhan. I would like Brother Moses to lead us in the word, uh, in the song for this Holy Communion. Mari kita persiapkan hati kita. Let's prepare our heart for worship.
katakan demi lagi Ku telah mati Ku telah mati Dan tinggalkan Pujilah Tuhan, wahai jiwaku, dan segala yang dalamku. Pujilah namanya yang suci. Pujilah Tuhan, wahai jiwaku, dan jangan lupakan segala rahmatnya. Father God, this morning we want to praise you, we want to thank you, we want to lift you up on high. For you are worthy to be praised from generation to generation. You are the creator of heaven and earth. And in you, Father God, we find our rest. Father Lord, today we want to come before you, we want to pray that you cleanse us, O Lord, and make us worthy to enter into your presence, worthy to partake of your Holy Communion. Bapa pada pagi hari ini, Tuhan, saya berdoa, Tuhan, layakkanlah kami, suci dan kuduskanlah kami semua yang berada di sini untuk masuk ke dalam hadiratmu, untuk mengambil perjamuan kudus pada hari ini. Bapa begitu juga kami menyerahkan diri kami kepadamu. Father, we present our ourselves, O Lord, as a living sacrifice unto you. Father God, we pray, Lord, you find pleasure and... Um, Lord, we pray, Father, that you bless us as we partake of your Holy Communion Amen. this morning. Bapa, kami berdoa agar apa saja yang kami telah lakukan dan hidup kami berkenan di hadapanmu. Father God, we want to pray and bring uh, Sister Sally's husband before you, Lord, as we partake Amen. of the Holy Communion. Yes, Today, the whole church yes, will want to remember him. Yes, and we are praying, Father, for healing, yes, for Lord. miracle healing of Father Amen. God. We are praying for your supernatural power to come upon him. Yes, God. And Lord, we pray your salvation be upon him, O oh Father God, Amen. that you will visit him in vision and in dreams, O oh Father God, Amen. that as the word of the Lord is spoken to him, O oh Lord, his heart will be soft and receiving of your word, O oh Lord. We Amen. pray for his salvation. We give our church into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. For I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. 
Kamu juga meskipun dahulu mati oleh pelanggaranmu dan kerana tidak disunat secara raya telah dihidupkan Allah bersama-sama dengan dia. Sesudah ia mengampuni segala pelanggaran kita dengan menghapuskan surat hutang yang telah ke ketentuan-ketentuan hukum mendakwa dan mengancam kita. Amen. Let us partake of this bread. Mari kita mengambil roti. Let's take the cup. Mari kita mengambil cawan. In the same manner, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Demikian juga ia telah mengambil cawan sesudah makan lalu berkata, Cawan ini adalah perjanjian baru yang dimeteraikan oleh darahku. Perbuatlah ini setiap kali kamu meminumnya menjadi peringatan akan aku. Let's drink this cup of covenant. Mari kita meminum. Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful morning that we are able to gather as a church to observe the Holy Communion. We know, Lord, of your love for us. We thank you, God, that even as we take this cup, Father, we know that we are sanctified, we are redeemed, oh Father, Lord. And we want to thank you, God, for your continued grace and mercy upon our life, for your forgiveness, for your blessings, for your healing and protection. In Jesus' Amen. name, we ask and we pray. Amen. 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 Puji Tuhan, saudara, kita telah mengakhiri Perjaman Kudus dan pada pagi ini kita siap sedia untuk masuk ke breakout room kita masing-masing. Brothers and sisters, we have come to an end to our <coughs> Holy Communion this morning and we are getting ready to break out into our respective rooms. Please give us some time as we allocate you into your rooms. Hi. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Okay. Hello. Hello, man. Hello, morning, Paul. This morning, we have a very special uh, speaker. And it's from our in house speaker. I'd like to uh, welcome Pastor and Elder Mama Jenny uh, as she takes uh, on. We don't have a pulpit. I almost want to call him. Call it as a pulpit. We are online. Yeah, I would like to pass uh, this time for Pastor Jenny to share God's word with us. Pastor Jenny, can you on? Praise God. Thank you, Pastor Joshua. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Pastor oh Lord. Jenny, your microphone. Okay, we give her some time. Hello, Pastor Jenny. We still cannot. Uh, Pastor Joshua, we can hear Pastor Jenny. Can you hear me now? 
Okay. Ken. Oh, it's me. It's me. Sorry. <laughs> praise God. Praise the Lord. Oh, let's pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Kikuraba sakaraba shikikuna. Karama sikikuraba shikikuna. Oh, Father God, we thank you, Father God, for assembling us here today to partake of your word. Like the man you graciously you have provided for us, your people, your, your people, your word is like our nourishment for our hearts and for our souls. Oh, Lord God, that we know, God, that heaven and earth can pass away, but your word will never pass away. Oh, Lord, in Jesus' name, Father. Speak to us as clearly as you can. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Today, today, uh, I'm, I'm sharing the word of God. The title of this me message is A Moment of Courage. I pray and hope that this message will be a blessing to every one of us. God bless every one of us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. This is serene. I'm sorry. I cannot. Yes. This is a minute. You have to excuse us. What happened is, Pastor Jenny sent it to WhatsApp to me. Now I got to send it to you again. Yeah. All right. Uh, she sent the, the recorded message to me. Uh, now I would like to, have to send it back to you. So sorry for all this morning. Okay, I'll forward to you now, Sister Serene, if you can share the message online. Okay. okay. So sorry, Mama Jenny. Uh, it's, it's okay. The, no worries. Uh, technical, myself not technical, so I forgot that this thing had to upload. Uh, thank you, uh, Sister Serene. Always ready whenever ready. Amen. Yeah, let's, yeah, just for a while, we'll, as we get our video online, just a uh, uh, give me two minutes, ah, uh, yeah. to download. So maybe, yeah. So uh, as I mentioned just now, Mother's Day is coming. is next week. Uh, so any one of you who want to uh, participate, uh, always remember your mom. You can write a very short one minute uh, a poem or a, a note, and then uh, pass it to me. Okay. Then I will try to next Sunday. We have a only a combined service. We will not have a breakup room. We will not have a, any special preaching. We just have a service uh, just to dedicate it to our mothers and to all our mothers in Hosanna Place. So next week, come back together. And uh, if you have, we have some special from BM. Of course, we have some uh, fathers who are going to sing. I know they try their best to sing a song. So we're going to record that song as well. We have some poem by Harry Agumo. Uh, very few things going on. I think Mama Jenny is going to give us a testimony as well. So I encourage uh, church members, open to all church members, to be able to participate in next Sunday, Mother's Day. Yeah?
No. No, not finish it. A moment of courage. Good morning, everyone. Hope that everyone is doing wonderfully today. And I'm so glad to have all of us here for this moment of relating to those that our Lord God has inspired and blessed. We'll get into something a little different today, something a little more uplifting, hopefully, in these trying times. And this sermon is called a moment of courage. And with these trying times, we can see that there is a little bit of pattern in the book of Judges. Similar to it, things go wrong. Punishment is administrated. We cry out to our Lord God, and our Lord sends a deliverance so that we can be ultimately saved. And the cycle repeated again and again and again. Very much like life. Yes. And as you know, this happens very often in Israel, in the Old Testament. Too often to even count. The name Israel means to wrestle with God. And wrestle it, the, uh, wrestle it does many, many times. We've been crying out to God again and again. But as we focus on this particular book, the book of Judges, I'd like to point out to one character that God has anointed the fourth judge of Israel. Deborah. So going back to Deborah first, we all skim through her background briefly. Focus, focusing, focusing on Judges chapter 4, we will be we'll summarized. Deborah was married to Labrador, ruled Israel as its judge, as its judge at the time, held court beneath the palm of Deborah, which was literally palm tree. And then you realize that as you read this, from Judges chapter 4, verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that you, you don't notice a single thing about her struggling to get the position. She was always, she was, she was already ruling as a charge of Israel at the time because of her wisdom. The wisdom that God has bestowed upon her to solve daily problems for the people and to settle disputes. And it was the, this time that the king of Canaan's commander, Caesarea, suppressed the Israelites for 20 years with a great deal of military advance. Let's read Judges 4, 6 to 7 and see. She sent for Barak, son of Abinam, from Kadesh in Naphtali, and said to him, The Lord, the God of Israel, commands you, go take with you 10,000 men of Naphtali, and Zebulun, and lead them up to Mount Tabor. I will lead Caesarea, the commander of Jasmine's army, with his chariots and his troops to the Kishon River, and give him into your hands. This is a woman in charge. You notice here that when there is a problem, Deborah takes control. She's a prophetess of God, yes, but she takes charge and she commands. She sees the problem and knows the time to strike all in God's good timing. Because she knows that, that science, that particular science, can only be gotten through not only the anointing of God, but through, once again, I reiterate, wisdom. So let's see these points here now that we have gotten familiar or refreshed with the tale of Deborah for a little bit. The title of this message is, as previously said, A Moment of Courage. A moment of courage against trying times. In which is trying times, we normally cry out to God and plead for his help and mercy. We surrender everything to him and say, Heavenly Father, lead us, guide us, send us a shepherd to shepherd us. We leave everything in your capable hands. Oh Lord, and it's right to cry out to him. It is right to be led by God. But the problems, what on earth do we do with the problems? Aren't they far too much for us? Let's see the first point. Point number one. Take control. Yes, Deborah must have prayed a lot to solve this problem. 20 years of oppression. But little is said. 
Here's the thing. Most books speak of the great prophets, praying, singing, fashioning prayers into poems to lament to God. But that section is short, concise. Right away, she tells Barak what to do. Right away, she tells him very specific instructions. She uses her years of experience, what she sees, what she knows, and above all, she uses something very powerful, the power vested in her by God. And friends, this is what we have to. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, and the Lord is with us. We have the power vested in us by God as His children. And so this is where we must take control of our own lives to face the problem. Hate on. We must take control, take the problem by the reins, like how we face a mad horse, and we go. And speaking of going, we see this in verse 8, Barak said to her, if you go with me, I will go. But if you don't go with me, I, will, I won't go. Verse 9, has Deborah's promising him that she would go. Certainly, I will come with you, she said. And this is where we lead to the second point. Point number two, have courage. A grown man says, if you don't go with me, I won't go. Barak is akin to our fears. He's afraid to take the first step, even though God has commanded him to go through Deborah. None of us can blame him. Who even is Barak? The son of someone. But he's not even in the army. And he's going up against Sarah with those iron chariots. So of course he's afraid. But Deborah promises to come with him to assure that he won't be alone. And here's the wondrous part. We too are not alone. We do point one, take control of the situation. We do point two, have courage, having courage. And we realize that as we take the first step, the second step follows. We decided to take control and that we receive courage from God. It's like saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to face my problems head on. But, and then God will speak and say, certainly, I will come with you. He's supporting us, my friends. He's supporting, he's supporting us in our steps towards our moment of courage. Against adversity, we must, we just take that first step with the strength in us, vested in us. He will support us and go with us all the way. Now, point number three, go and be assured. Verse 14 says that Deborah said to Barak, go, this is the day the Lord has given Sisera into your hands. Has not the Lord God ahead of you? Go, my brothers and sisters, when you are already on the path, as Deborah has said, go. Has not the Lord God ahead of you? He's waiting on the other side for you, for you to catch up and to run each step with pride and courage, with assurance that He is there. This is the day that the Lord has given, has seized, has granted you the opportunity to take your problems with His courage, strength and wisdom, as well as your own combined walk through with them the best you can. And if possible, solve them in your own, in God's own grace. My brothers and sisters, very often we seek God, and we certainly ought to do so. We seek for wisdom, strength, peace, and courage. But we too must realize that all this while, we are seeking God. God has always, always been with us. Always, always, we have the Holy Spirit within us. Searching for God, trying to hear His voice may not be easy. And when we're left with spiritual dryness, then we often lament, how about? But if you take the time to consider and realize that God is always with us, He's much closer than we think. Amen? Praise God. Let's pray. Father God, you are the God who arranged us. You created us not only to rely on you and be strong in you, but also to walk and stand on our two feet and be strong enough to run. O oh Lord, watch us, O oh God. See us to use the gifts that you granted us. Allow us to harness your power and watch us shine brightly as you created us. O oh dear God, be our companion, be our guide. Help us generate our own courage and we bless our efforts at manifold. For we are confident people, courageous people, proactive people, and it's all thanks to you who have created us. May we march on 
And may our souls be strong in you. In Jesus' name we pray. And may the love of God and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. God bless all of you. We want to thank uh, Pastor Jenny for this wonderful message, uh, a short and wonderful message to all of us. And now I'd like to ask Sister Serene to play the song uh, that Pastor, Jen, uh, Pastor Jenny requests. Thank you. We have come to the end of our service, service. and then we would like to like have a good thing song, song. Uh, this morning. Good morning, I'd like to Sister Mika Mika closing closing. Hi everyone, everyone. So, so um, um is it just me, it just or me or I can or hear, can my, hear echo my echo back? back? If it's just, if me, it's just then, me, then that's good. <laughs> yeah, echoing, echoing. Echo. Yeah, I think it's my one. Hang on. Let no. me share again without audio. No worries. It's okay. No so we'll be singing this song called Batapa Hatiku. It's a Malay song, but I've put the English one as well, like in the chat. So we can also... Uh, Reflect on the meaning of it of the song, right? As we sing together. 
So let's sing this song together. I would like to thank Sister Ming Chen and also Sister Serene uh, for helping us out this morning. Uh, it was a wonderful uh, fellowship and wonderful song that we have that would encourage us with the message and the song. It's such a wonderful uh, time that we have this morning. And before we dismiss, I would like to close uh, our fellowship and our service in a word of prayer. Let's pray. Father God, we want to thank you, Lord, for this morning that you have gathered us here, that you have reminded us how much you love us, so oh Lord. And Lord, even at this trying and difficult time in our life, in our situation, Lord, we will always have courage. We will always, Lord, rise up because you are with us. We know, Father God, from the many examples that they've given to us this morning, we can see that when the Lord is with us, nobody can be against us, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. If we know, even if we see that we are in the storm, when we are in the time of difficulty, we will only trust you and hold on to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We know, God. Your covenant is your promise, O oh Father, Lord. Yes, Father. You are a faithful God, and you cannot be unfaithful like us who can be unfaithful to you. But we know, God, that you are a faithful God Amen. to all your people through yes, all Lord. generations, O oh Father, God. We thank you for that uh, promise, O oh Father, that yes, covenant, Lord. the covenant that Jesus has given us, the new covenant of the blood as well that has brought us salvation, that has 
blotted all our sins, oh Father Lord. All our sins have been taken away from us. Father, give us the uh, spirit of boldness, oh Father God, to take charge, oh Father Lord, because you have conquered even spiritual powers, oh Father God, even principalities of the air. There is nothing that we should fear in our life, oh Father yes, God. Yes, Father. Because all the even spirits are created by you, O oh Father Lord, for there is no one greater than you. You are the Lord, Lord the army for us, O oh Father Lord. You are the yes, captain Lord. of the host, O oh Father God. Yes, Father. How one angel of the Lord can defeat the whole Egyptian army. You know how powerful we are when we know that you are with us this morning. Father, we want to pray and ask for a special blessing upon those who have listened yes. to this word, so yes, Father Lord. Lord. May your word encourage Yes, that, Father. As we uh, walk on this journey on this earth, may yes, we Lord. Father God, glorify your name. We thank yes. you. Bless each and every one that have listened yes, to your words, O oh, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father God, this morning, even if they have fallen, O oh, Father Lord. Father, we pray and ask that you will strengthen them. Because yes, Lord. From, from where they have fallen, O oh, Father Lord, that they will come back to you, O oh, Father Lord, and give their heart and give their life to you, O oh, Father yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus for this wonderful day that we have in you. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. Amen. Amen. All of us, can we on our video and maybe we can say uh, hello and then we can close our uh, morning service. Hello, Brother Kenneth, hello. Hello, Brother, hello, Sister. Jenny, hello. Jenny, hello. Hello. Hello.